Sometimes when um, I think about what these books are doing, I am amazed at how they are willing to address issues that we had just sort of swept under the rug. And one of the things that the City of Promises project allowed for is in the Haven of Liberty book to look at the Civil War. So everyone knows that, you know, there were Jews who fought for the South and there were Jews who fought for the North. Um, what had never really been looked at was the way in which Jews in New York City were very supportive of Southerners. They were supportive of slavery. They were Democrats, um, not Republicans. Um, and the book goes into why New York Jews, you know, didn't vote for Lincoln. Right? They didn't particularly vote for Lincoln the first time he ran. They didn't even vote for Lincoln particularly the second time he ran. Um, and the change in attitude doesn't really come until Lincoln is assassinated, when suddenly you know Jews recognize, along with so many other Americans, of course, that um, they've lost a great leader. So uh, the book explores this this political situation and these attitudes that Jews had. And whenever Howard Rock, who's the author of that volume, talks about it with people, um, they say, "Well, so so." Why didn't we know about it? You know, because what he did was he went back to all the newspapers and accounts and the voting records and stuff, and he said, well, he thinks that you know, in the post-Civil War period, no one wanted to, to say, gee, you know, Jews had lined up um, on, on the side of, of uh, Southerners.